Hey guys, it's Mastermind2368 here, and so today I'm going to be showing you how you can get Celeste on your RG35XX+. Plus. This should also work on the SP model or the H model or any model that happens to use that same CPU, and I'm sure more will work in the future, but I just have the Plus, so that's what I'm going to be showing you on. Additionally, you're going to need new OS. Community OS should also probably work, but I've not tested it on there, so I'm just using new OS because that's what I heard was good. You're also going to need a Linux version of Celeste, just so you know, you can play it on the Linux based device, believe it or not. And that's about all you're really going to need to get started. It's not too hard to get this game on there. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the tutorial. So to start with, you're going to want to go to the first link in the description. Just go over to it and press download. And these are some files that will just help us port the game over in general. Just download it and then go over to your downloads folder. I have it over here. Extract it to wherever you feel like. I'm just going to put mine in a little folder I created over here. And just let it extract and there we go. So if you go in here, you can see, you know, it's a bunch of little files. Everything's all okay except game data. So this is where we're going to put the files of the game. Now, depending on where you have your game from, it might be different. In my case, I have a zip file over here and I'm just going to extract it into that game data folder. So right click on it, extract all and let's see, porting files, Celeste, game data, put it there, extract, and it might take a second. And as you can see, there it all is. So after you've done that, we're now ready to put the files on the SD card. So go ahead and navigate over to your SD card and it should look something similar to this. Go over to ports. Now within ports, you are going to take the folder that's Celeste, copy and paste that over there. And it'll take a little bit depending on how fast your SD card is. And while that's loading, we can begin this. Take the Celeste.sh file, copy it, move over to ROMs, ports. Now, if you've never done anything with Portmaster on your device before, you might need to create a ports folder here, maybe there, I'm not quite sure. But just create them, it should be fine. And wait for the file transfers to complete. And as you can see, we have the files copied over here, which means we are ready now to go over to our RG35XX Plus. So just safely eject your SD card, and we'll continue over on the device. Okay, so once you're over on your RG35XX Plus, that's a mouthful, uh, go over to your apps. And once you're in your apps, go over to Portmaster. Now, if it asks for an update, let it update. Make sure you're connected to the number because you're going to need to download things. And once you're within here, go to all ports. Now we're going to go search for a game called Owl Boy. And that's because when we install the files needed to get Owl Boy to work, it also installs the dependency needed for Celeste. So just go ahead, look for Owl Boy. There's another game. I forget the name of it that should also work, but I find that it works less reliably. I'll put the name up over there if you want to try that one if Owlboy's not working. But go ahead, just install Owlboy and let it verify, let it do its thing. And when it's done, it'll say Owlboy, but it'll also say Mono in some numbers. And we want Mono to be installed, so that, that's a good sign. After that, go back. And while you were here, just check Manage Ports just to make sure you put your Celeste game in right. If you put it in right, you should see something like that. As you can see, Celeste installed size 1.68 gigabytes. And that means that it's actually found the Celeste game file. So yes, we want to exit Portmaster and go back, go over to the file browser, explore content, go to ports and launch up Celeste. Now, for the first boot, it can take a little bit sometimes, so I'm just going to let this go and we'll come back to it in a second and see if it starts up or not. And as you can see, here it is starting up. Sometimes 
it does freeze on this screen, but yeah, it seems to be working fine. Now there are graphical glitches as you can see here in the menus, but I played through about two and a half levels and I found from those two and a half levels, the levels work perfectly. So you don't have to worry about that. There's even rumble, which is a nice bonus, but yeah, it's Celeste on your RG35XX. It's you know, not the most, the, the screen is a little small, I see that new 40XX, that one might be really good for this because that screen is bigger whenever it's ported over there, but yeah, Celeste on something this size, which is really cool. One more thing to mention, don't go into options, that will crash the game, just, I don't think you can change anything, tough luck. Like go to save and quit whenever you want to save it, obviously, and then if you want to quit the game, sure, go into options. And there you go, quits the game. But yeah, Celeste on the 35XX Plus. Now one more thing I want to mention, if you get stuck on this screen, one thing that I found to be the problem is it generates a new shell file automatically for Celeste and the generated shell files will not work. So if that happens to you, go back to your computer, find the Celeste.sh file, and put the one that we made back over there after you've installed Owlboy. But yeah, other than that, I found that it seems to be working pretty well. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you still have any questions, you can leave a comment. I can see if I know the answer. If I don't, someone else might, and so we can try to help each other out and figure out all the issues. I just find that it's really cool that you can play Celeste on something this small. Like, I, I know it's not a demanding game, but just to be able to play Celeste on something this small has a really unique charm to it. And so I was glad when I figured out how to do this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you have a really good day. Goodbye.